Hello everyone. So I was going through this AI data workshop guide and I interestingly ran into this triple quote instruction. And I was very curious uh, and I was, I think, digging around it. And first I found a note about this thing that triple quotes are basically to mark a start and end of a context by encapsulating it uh, and then uh, they create a visual difference between context and inter instru instruction. So the thing here is the instruction and context. It seems here it is a little bit mixed because we have a lot of contextual data as well and there are a lot of other uh, stuff too. So then I thought like, let me learn more about this thing before I continue with my AI and data workshop. So I started Googling the first blog which I found uh, was by Joel Emmett. It is an interesting blog. The point which I liked is it is a very simple example, though Salesforce guide also covered the same thing, but I think it took me a while to process. So it said the again, same thing that you can use triple hashes or triple quotes to clear a visual distinction. So the new thing is you can also use triple hashes and triple quotes in an interchangeable way. But I think probably triple hashes will look look little ugly and maybe a personal preference also if somebody likes to do that. So then uh, the same thing they also mentioned that uh, where the instruction ends and where the context begins and all those things. So then the less eff effective example which they quoted is they try to summarize a text uh, and this is how I typically prompted I just write and, and then maybe I put a colon or dash here and I will say that following is my text input. But uh, the, this I think ticks uh, better that because he said that this is my instruction and this is my contextual data. So this is uh, encapsulated like this. But again, I was a little more curious and I was researching around that what is this all going on. So I asked Chad GPT that, okay, why don't you tell me about this thing? So one thing which came out is this triple quote is actually coming from Python to define multi-line strings. And that makes sense because at times you have a complex uh, instruction or complex uh, contextual data. So you want that instruction or uh, context to be treated as a single holistic piece of uh, information rather than a scattered piece of text like where every new line can be treated differently by any LLM. So this is an instruction or basically a syntax for LLM that okay you treat this whole thing holistically not as a different different chunks of text. So this thing uh, was interesting because then the same Python thing of multi-line text is coming up here. And uh, then it also says that you can use this to encapsulate detailed instructions or context information, ensuring they are interpreted as a single block of text by AI. So this was very helpful for me to clear fog around this whole thing. This whole thing made a lot of sense. Then the examples, unfortunately, here are not that great. So, I mean, the thing which they are trying to say here is uh, you use context like this instruction you like write it like this. This is not, I think, we prompt, so I was not very impressed here. So I then went to Gemini and uh, I asked Gemini the same uh, thing via the same prompt. So it again said that the triple quotes are used in programming languages to define multi-line strings. We already learned that on ChatGPT. So then in prompt engineering, uh, it again said that the same thing which we have seen in other two pages, then allows for detailed description and information so now it started making sense to me okay multi-line string detailed description information not a simple prompt that writes something like a letter about this thing a single line uh, context it is okay you can probably be fine you don't need triple quotes for that so then it gave an example that this is how they encapsulated the contextual data something like what salesforce was doing here now it talked about hashes hashes i according to it it's a way of commenting i mean most of the people know that many sh shell and other programming languages use hash as a comment and hash again are at time notes and instruction in code also like you do this thing that do that thing so it is going in the same fashion here that it is used to write efficient short prompts or instructions and again uh, the idea is to pass limited information if you're putting a single hash so like this single Hash is a limited thing, though you can use triple hashes like triple quotes. But I don't like triple hashes, so I will just ignore the idea of this hash here and focus more on other examples. One thing I found here uh, very interesting is, uh, I mean, it was throwing a little bit of garbage, but one example which I really liked, which Gemini threw, is this code completion. So this is actually a short instruction which it used using hash, not triple hash. 
this back tick this is uh, actually not uh, for prompting this is a syntax uh, in many syntax highlighters and many programming language that this is a python code it is not for llm then it wrote some sample thing then if you note that it again put a short instruction here and then it put a long multi-line context hopefully it has to be multi-line but it's a single line here then it put a context here in a triple quote so this is i think a good example which clears fog in uh, in my head that okay now this is hash this is triple quote then it again put a hash and then it put a normal thing so probably this is the way maybe you can look at it from one angle like use single hash for some specific instructions within your uh, intermingled string with a complex prompt which is having a lot of context and then short instructions and then some other contextual data so this was fun and then in the last i was little bit uh, curious about uh, what are all these back ticks single quotes double uh, quotes and uh, repeated three times so according to the llm these single quotes and double quotes both are same though typically people i never use both of them in my prompting but it said that okay people typically use uh, triple double quotes like here um, but if you want you can use that also it is a least common way to do that back ticks they are not really needed so you can avoid back ticks so now again coming back to example if you are prompting if you have a complex prompt you don't need to waste your energy in writing simple prompts with triple triple quotes but this is like as you can see it's a complex prompt so in a case of complex prompt it makes more sense to put these triple quotes so that LLM treats the whole thing as a single unit. You can also use triple hashes, but that might look ugly. I mean, personally to me, it will look ugly up to you. And you can use single hash to put a specific instruction in between or outside uh, as well to make sure that uh, your LLM knows that this is an instruction, though it mostly recognizes, but it can be uh, helpful. Hope you like this video. If you know any other prompting trick and tips, so do share them. Thank you.